Five Minute Pearls for Clinical Practice. Today's pearl is called Do Your Homework. Hello, this is Dr. Brian Morris, and this is 5-Minute Pearls for Clinical Practice, where you will learn the tools to provide exceptional care for your patients. This is the weekly podcast where you will be introduced to time-tested, evidence-based patient care strategies that aren't always taught in schools or training programs, but are nonetheless crucial for success in clinical practice. This week's pearl is called Do Your Homework. In pearl number five, we discuss the four-legged stool, where the four legs represent the four general components of health care. If any of the legs of the stool become weak, the entire stool can topple over, collapsing into health care problems such as heart disease, cancer, autoimmune disease, and other problems. The first two legs of the stool represent what's usually practiced in Western medicine, with the first leg being medications, and the second leg representing procedures and surgeries. The third and the fourth legs represent areas that are typically the patient's responsibility, with the third leg representing self-care, such as nutrition, exercise, sleep, and stress management, and the fourth leg representing relationship care, which is the sum total of the patient's personal and work relationships. In pearl number six, we discuss the two major components important in terms of building a strong and healthy third leg of the stool. In other words, how to build strong self-care habits. We spoke about these two components being practice and integration. So the keys to building a healthy third leg of the stool with good self-care habits is practice and integration. Practice meaning practicing self-care habits on a consistent basis until they become integrated into the patient's schedule and permanent lifestyle. Now let's delve into this process a bit more deeply. As we've discussed in previous pearls, taking care of patients is a true partnership where you and your patients work together to optimize each person's overall health. You can prescribe the most effective medications or you can perform the most elegant procedures, but if a patient doesn't follow your recommendations and doesn't practice effective self-care or has dysfunctional relationships, then the patient's healthcare outcomes are not likely to be optimal. It is important to be fully conscious of this yourself as you care for patients, and it is also vital to convey this message to patients. Patients usually respond very well to this, as most patients want to be fully engaged in their care. They simply need to understand that their actions have a profound effect on their health, and they also need to know exactly what they can do on a practical basis to contribute to their own health. They need clear guidelines for how to eat, how to exercise, how to sleep effectively, etc. You'll be surprised how well patients respond when they receive clear, supportive recommendations from a healthcare provider. In my practice, I call this homework. With just about every appointment, my patients will leave the office with two homework assignments to complete before the next visit. Each patient's situation is different, of course. For some patients, it might be something simple like go for a five-minute walk each morning before work. Or for other patients, it might be have an apple before dinner each night. Side note, a recent study showed that having an apple before a meal reduces the caloric intake of that meal by almost 200 calories. Or, for other patients, it might be something more challenging, such as download an app, such as Moves, or purchase a wristband, such as the Nike Fuel Band or the Jawbone Up, to make sure that that patient is getting the proper amount of activity each day. The specifics of the homework assignment depend on the specific situation of each patient, but the key is to give each patient two homework assignments with each visit to accomplish before the next visit to see you. When you do that, you give the patient the message that you care, and you also reinforce the message that this is a partnership rooted in your treatment recommendations, but also rooted in the patient practicing the right habits between office visits. 
Think about how you might promote this message by coming up with creative homework assignments that are patient specific and try to put your assignments in writing and document them in the chart so that you can easily revisit your recommendations with the next office visit. When I say put the homework assignments in writing, I mean write them down and hand them to the patient so the patient can leave the office with a specific written homework assignment. By doing this, you will be helping your patients to become more invested in their health and also to significantly improve their chances to reach their optimal health care outcomes. Let's keep the dialogue going. Let me know what you think of this week's Pearl for Clinical Practice. Post your comments and experiences on the 5-Minute MD Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at Brian Morris MD. You can email me at drmorris at 5minutemd.com. That's D R. M-O-R-R-I-S at 5MinuteMD.com. And of course, you can visit us anytime on our website, 5MinuteMD.com. Let your friends and your colleagues know about this podcast. And please make sure that you are subscribed on iTunes. When you subscribe on iTunes, you will receive each subsequent pearl as soon as it is posted. Thank you so much for listening. This is Dr. Brian Morris. I will see you at the next five. (music) 